Hi, this is Brennan Davis from Bedrock Games and the Bedrock Blog, and I'm doing a late-night movie review of Rigor Mortis. This is a 2013 film directed by Juno Mock, and it's sort of done as like a tribute to the Mr. Vampire movies, or that's what everybody's saying, um, but it's really not a, that much like the Mr. Vampire films. It does have a lot of the actors from them, and so there's that, but I mean, just in terms of tone and feel, it was totally different. And I sort of knew that going in based on what I had heard from people, but I was still uh, a little surprised at how dark and serious it was. And so I initially was finding myself a little bit bored by the film. But once I uh, sort of shifted gears and sort of recognized, okay, this is kind of a little bit more like a, I don't know, just like a J-horror type movie or something, um, it... uh it started to work a little bit more for me. It it has some really cool visuals, I think. Number one, uh, if you if you look at the cover of this movie, the the vampire has a very striking look, and there's a story to how that look comes about in the movie, and that's one of the interesting things about it. Just sort of the 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 backstory of all of these characters at the uh, uh, apartment building that the main character moves into. Uh, it's a um, I don't know. It's a, so. This wasn't like my favorite movie in the world by any stretch. It wasn't a bad movie either. It was kind of a, um, you know, it, it, I I think its biggest weakness is that it's very slowly paced, and and I found myself uh, initially losing interest, like I was saying. But then once I got invested in the characters, I I was able to sort of go with the film at this pace. But it, it, I feel like it was like an hour before you really saw a vampire in the movie. I mean, there were a few moments in the film prior to that where supernatural things sort of burst it onto the scene a little bit. But uh, you, you you don't really get like the the vampire until until well into the movie. Uh, but you do have a lot of the other trapping. I mean, like the trappings are there. It just sort of feels like a. It feels almost like a like they've sort of. It's like a self aware hopping vampire movie uh and and and, and i mean and, and, and like right down to the premise like the uh, the whole the main character is um is played by uh chin Xiao ho and he is um uh supposed to be like a an actor who's down on his luck and is now moving into this apartment complex and he gets sort of sucked into uh a situation involving a taoist priest and a vampire and another taoist priest and you know, like the Taoist priest in this, he's not like a regular Taoist priest. He's got like a bathrobe on the whole time instead of like a, you know, proper robe. And he's really sort of just barely functional, it seems. He's, he's, you know, he's, he sort of walks this line between uh, being really tranquil and relaxed and being overly anxious. It's, a, it's an interesting sort of physical depiction of the character on the screen but but he's sort of the the wise uh Taoist priest in the movie who helps uh helps uh the the protagonist deal with the threat there's also a uh, uh an appearance by Kara Hoy who's um who plays uh like a I don't know how you would describe it like a really sort of crazy woman who lives in the apartment building and her backstory connects to the apartment that the protagonist lives in, and it's really important. And she's, you know, again, as Carol, she's great, and and uh, it's just, it's not like a enormous role in the movie, but it's an important role in the movie. And uh, and there's also uh, Richard Ng who plays the vampire, and you know, at the beginning of the movie, he's just kind of an old man who lives with his wife, and you know, is complaining about things you would expect an old man to complain about. And I thought that that was the thing that really worked about this movie. The so I know I'm jumping all over the map, but again, this is a late night movie review, so expect things to be inaccurate and flawed and all all the rest. But but Richard Ung and his wife, who um, I think is played by uh, Pa He Ching, is a um, you know that that whole aspect of the film is the thing that that like made me like it. Uh, it's sort of a the whole vampire plot is driven by. Uh, by the Pa He Ching character's uh, uh, grief for her husband and the desire to to continue, uh, you know, 
like holding on to the to the life that they have together and she's sort of you know she's sort of uh, it's a little unclear exactly how old she is but she's she's getting on in years and she has uh uh, diabetes and he is the one who you know helps administer her shots and you can see sort of the deterioration of her physically as time goes on and so uh i don't know i, fo- I found it touching i thought i thought that it was uh uh i thought it was and also to sort of see her sink deeper and deeper into into just the the, the things that she does for the love of her husband uh she you know it's it, it, you 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 it, it gets harder and harder and harder to sympathize with her but they do it in a very good way they sort of there's sort of this this logical progression of evil that she descends into and and i also just i don't know i just i thought that all the characters is is a like you had you have like a good taoist priest and you have kind of like an evil taoist priest but they're also all people who have lived in the same apartment building for ages together and have pre-existing connections with one another and it's not like they're just going around trying to murder each other there's a there's a and if that does happen there's a there's a reluctance to it that gave it a little bit more of a plausibility in terms of the horror itself it's it, it, i i don't know that this was a terribly scary movie it, what it was was an unnerving movie it really got some of the um sort of visceral, uh, uncomfortable, grotesque things, uh, really, really right. Like the, uh, you know, the, the, there's, there's, the, the, you know, again, this is the, the, the there, there are, you, you feel the discomfort of the characters a lot in this movie. And, and so, I mean, I, I'm gonna, I might spoil a little bit of something here. So tune out if you don't want it, me to spoil anything, but there's this there's a scene where one of the characters gets impaled by a metal rod and the angle that he's impaled at just really makes you feel the pain like you you can feel this rod in your stomach as you're watching the scene and it's those kind of moments i thought were enormously effective in the film um and i liked i liked the horror elements i just didn't find them especially scary but i don't i don't think that they need to be scary to be a, a good horror movie i can still enjoy something that isn't scary but is sort of compelling and you know dark and interesting and so the the situation the apartment building is a little bit complicated but basically there's a an old woman who's trying to make her husband into a vampire and there's a uh and there's a and there's also a haunting going on in the protagonist's apartment because there were two twins that died in really tragic circumstances that are uh something that you know if you if you're sensitive to to uh to to things like sexual violence in movies you might not want to um you might not want to see this film for that reason but uh but but they die in real in a really tragic situation and they continue to haunt the the apartment and they become involved in the vampire plot because the um the the uh the the evil priest is uh, trying to help the woman make her husband into a, a vampire and he realizes that he can use them in the performing of his ritual and so there's a there's a lot of nice little things that go on in this one too there's sort of the 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 Taoist priest is sort of lamenting the 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 loss of 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 uh of vampires in the world and how uh you know uh now all he can do is just cook glutinous rice you know glutinous rice is sort of something that's used to cure uh vampires in in this genre and or to contend with them and and so he's now you know the the skill he has is 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 handling glutinous rice so he's he's a cook now and he's sort of this depressed sort of aimless Taoist who lives in an apartment that uh where, where he sort of you know seems to be you know his roommates are basically ghosts um it's 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 an unusual situation but but i i don't know i found i found the characters interesting in the film again i i it wasn't it wasn't um it wasn't exactly what i was hoping for when i started the movie and it isn't what i'm looking for when i watch a hopping vampire film but it you know this entertained me um and it and it uh and i and i think that it it held my interest and i thought that it had some very interesting visuals the the overall look of the movie was again it sort of contributed to the to the uh the the feeling of it being a slow movie 
so on the one hand, the visual sort of, there was like a gray tone to the whole film. It kind of added to the sense of slowness, but it also helped to establish a really interesting look during key scenes. There's one moment where I don't even know what these things were, but these really tall figures just sort of march down the hallway to music and it's very striking and it's the kind of thing i've seen in a million movies like this before but it just looked really interesting uh, and the uh the look of the two twin ghosts was i thought was particularly cool they they sort of i don't know how to describe it but they have like a blood vessel tendril thing going that was really interesting and the look of the vampire i liked the way the vampire looked i thought you know and and, and richard Ung plays the vampire and i thought i thought that he uh he looked really cool with the he's a mask made out of coins and his face is all messed up so he's a vampire but his teeth are in like the wrong place and it just it just looked really neat um and 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 i don't know it was a it was you know it was a decent sort of you know uh uh horror movie that i think was at times trying to be too smart for its own good but it was still entertaining um there, there's an ending and i again i was sort of you know alerted to this in some of the reviews i had seen and and some of the things people had said to me but uh and 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 according to uh the silver spleen on youtube uh the, part of the reason for this ending might have to do with um uh just the uh politics of getting uh, a film to to distribution in mainland china and so in order to do that they might have had to add this sort of epilogue to the movie but either way i i I don't know i don't know what the reason is so i'm i'm just gonna you know take it as it came and i was really confused by the ending more than anything else there's so the 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 movie was i thought had a nice ending with the you know with the climax fighting the vampire but then at the end they add this thing um and i want to try to talk about this without spoiling things but it just kind of it kind of uh it's it's just unclear to me exactly what it meant i don't know if they were sort of saying oh this never happened or if they were if they were um if they were i i really don't know what it meant it was because it, it was it was uh I, I found it very confusing um and i'm going to spoil it because i don't think i can talk about it without spoiling it so i'm going to talk about the ending the ending basically after after he kills the vampire, um, they sort of flash into his eye because he's dying, I think. I'm trying to remember. I think he was dying. And and it was a really tremendous scene. Like, there's a really dramatic, weighty thing happens in the battle. But then it sort of reverses back to the start of the movie, but things play out a little bit differently. Like, they're not quite as weird as when he, when they when they happened in the... Um, in the in the film and so in the in the original start of the movie he tries to commit suicide and because his apartment's haunted he's possessed by one of the twin ghosts and then the Taoist priest rushes in and saves him from the ghost and he vomits up a bunch of black blood and that's sort of the the opening of the movie and here he just commits suicide and then his son picks him up in the morgue and the guy that was the evil Taoist is now just a regular doctor to, I, I don't know it just made no sense to me at all I I didn't understand it. I maybe it's just too late in the evening. Um so I wasn't I wasn't as worried about it like taking back what had happened. I just wanted to know what it meant. I really didn't understand it. Um but I do think the movie would have been better without that. I, I think if they had just ended it before they did that, it would have been a better movie. Um you know, but again, I mean it's just it's it's like I don't know, a minute added to the end of the film so you can kind of ignore it, I guess. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, it, again, I have to say, so some, I, mean, I know I'm all over the place, too, so I apologize, but it's... Uh, the movie is slow, so keep that in mind. The movie is um, very atmospheric and very sort of invested in, in the striking visuals that it's trying to convey. Uh, I would say it's more on the horror side than the... in term, It's... it's it's it, it's good at sort of getting sort of the gore and getting a, a reaction from you where you feel something in your body like you feel like oh that must be gross you, you know you feel like the like a person has just been impaled or that they're they're eating something awful you know it's that kind of a that kind of a movie um the 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 parts where i think there was one scene where 
I think it really got scary. Um, but it was also, uh, it was also, um, uh, I don't know. It was, it was one of the harder scenes to watch in the movie. Um, so I, I, so I, I guess at certain points it did it did legitimately get scary, but at least for me as a viewer, I, I was I was sort of uh, afraid for one of the characters that was in peril, but also afraid for the character that was putting that person in peril, um, and and so I thought that worked pretty well. Uh, but again, the 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 real core of what made this movie you know work, I thought was the um, the the Pahi Ching character and. And her husband, uh, uh, played by Richard Ung, who's the um, the, the 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 vampire. Uh, I, I I think without those characters, the film doesn't really work. Uh, so that was really the the heart of it. I thought the the um, uh, Chin Sao Ho character was was also uh, interesting. Again, this is kind of like a self aware hopping vampire movie, so. I, I like I like that when he moved in, he kind of had like all of his old costumes from his films, and he had clearly been in movies that had hopping vampires in them. Um, I, you know, it was it was he was he was a nice character, and the Kara Hui character was was also quite interesting. Um, and uh, you know, but 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 again, it was um, it it took it took me a little bit to sort of get into the flow of the film. Uh, so you know, if I if I was going to give it a rating. I'd probably give it like three out of five. I, I think it's I think it's definitely worth checking out. I think some people might really really like this movie, and I think some people might like like see it and be like, "What the hell was this?" Um, I have a feeling people will be all over the map, and I think a lot of it has to do with whether you feel that the movie is uh, is pretentious or not, or whether you feel the movie is atmospheric. You know. It, it, it's really going to be a subjective call. I, I think that it was kind of going for like a little bit of like a J horror type vibe, just that kind of uh, grimy horror that you sometimes get with those films. And, and I think the, I think it was a Japanese producer. Um, yeah, it was produced. It was Japanese producer. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's again. It's billed as kind of a, an homage to Mr. Vampire, and 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 to the to the extent that it has people from the Mr. Vampire series, it makes sense that it is, but it doesn't feel at all like the Mr. Vampire movie. So I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the connective tissue is there. I think. Um, I think maybe uh, what they were trying to do is sort of reboot the concept. So it's maybe a homage in the same way that the new Va- Batman movies are an homage to the, to the old ones. Um, but, but the, the difference in tone is about the same, uh, there as well. So, so I think, I think that's maybe what they were going for. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like I, uh, I kind of, I, I think with hopping vampire stuff, I prefer, I prefer a little bit lighter fare. Um, but I, but I enjoyed myself and, uh, and I and I again I, I thought that uh, the you know it's sort of it's sort of it's one of these movies that kind of opens with the ending. It's sort of so I so I, I said it opened with him hanging himself, but it's not entirely true. There's a, a glimpse of the final scene at the very beginning of the movie, and and that kind of tells you where things are going to go and points your eyes in the right direction. I think um, there's a so so yeah. So I think I think I'm sort of all out of anything I have to talk about now. Um, so I will. I will end the review here, but you know, again, the name of the movie is *Rigor Mortis*. Uh, I believe it's a 2013 film. I did. I, I'm getting some conflicting information on that, but I'm going to go with 2013. And it's a film by Juno Mock, and I think uh, you know it, it's worth checking out. I think it is actually possibly available on Prime. I did see it. I ended up getting it on Blu-ray, and and I. I don't regret the purpose uh, the purchase. I, I don't think I'm going to be watching this more than twice is my guess. I, I do want to see it once again because I'm confused about a few things. And I'm, I'm not 100% sure where I fall in the movie. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving it three out of five, but I feel kind of like uh, my mind might change over time. But, uh, but I do, I, I do, I do want to see it again because I, I feel like there are details I might have missed. And, 
and yeah, so you can you can get it on uh you can get it on on Blu-ray. You can get it on I believe if it's not it might not be a like a, a free on Prime, but it might be a, available on one of their services or something. Because I feel like I saw it somewhere, um, and I don't know if that version is different from the one I watched. But uh, but also I liked I liked the music. You know, that, that I thought that I thought it had an effective soundtrack, which is important. And uh, and yeah, so so again, um, rigor mortis. Uh, you know, hopping vampires. It's uh, it's it's a it's a little it, again. It's a little more serious than uh than some of the Mr. Vampire movies and stuff. But uh, but I mean, I thought it was a you know w- once you sort of accept what it's doing, I I think it's enjoyable. Uh, so so you know, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say rush out and see it, but I would say you know if you're curious about it, check it out. Um, and uh and yeah so i will uh i will let you go and i will be back on uh with uh more reviews later in the week